In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the multi-step form functionality that's coming in Elementor version 2.10. It's currently in beta, but we can see how it works right here. We have our step numbers at the top. We have fields that we can fill out and then click on the next button and then fill in an email, click on the next button, fill in a message, and then we can send the form. And we see these steps at the top that we progress through. We can change the colors. We can change the step design at the top. We have a lot of flexibility in how to build the multi-step form. I'm going to show you all the features that are currently available. It's still in beta. There might be some more stuff added by the time it's released, but we're going to see what the status is of the multi-step form as of right now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I'll answer them the best I can. If you like this video, please give it a like because it really helps us in the search rankings. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress. You can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's check out this brand new multi-step form functionality. On February 12, 2020, Elementor released this blog post and it shows the most requested features for Elementor at that time. The number one most requested was steps for forms and those have now arrived. In Elementor Pro version 2.10 beta, we now have steps for forms. This is not in the public version of Elementor. The public version is still 2.9. This is just the beta version for testing. It should not be used on live production websites. If you want to get the beta versions, all you have to do is watch this tutorial right up here where I show you to turn on the beta version option inside Elementor. You do it right in your website and you'll then have the latest beta versions on your testing site, not on your production site. Only use the public release on production sites. So let's just create a new page and see how these form steps work. Let's go to pages and add new. Let's call this form steps. Edit with Elementor. Now I'm going to close the navigator. I'm going to add a form widget. Let's drag and drop that right in there. And I'm not going to do anything more complex than we have here. Maybe I'll just duplicate the name field and just have it be first name and last name. So we have a few more fields in here. And we're going to split the form right after last name. So we're going to have first name and last name on the first page. And then we'll have email on the second page and then maybe make a third page for message. And before we do that, I'm going to turn off labels so things are less cluttered, a little cleaner. So to add steps, all we have to do is go to add item from the type drop down, choose step. Let's call this step one. And it adds number one up here. And step one is the text that is added right here. I'm going to drag and drop this to the very top because now all this is in step one. I'm going to add step two. And wherever we add step two is where it's going to break into step number two. I want to do that after the last name. So it's just first name, last name on the first step. I'm going to add a step three. and drag and drop that right in between email and message. Now we have our steps created. That's all there is to it. We now have a multi-step form. It doesn't matter how many fields you have or how many steps you have, you can break it up into a multi-step form. So if I add my name in here, first name, last name, go to next, add my email, click on next, add our message, and then I click send. I'm not gonna click send right now but that is the multi-step form functionality. I can click on previous and it has all the information still filled in. So as they go through the form, the information is still on each step. It doesn't go away. If they refresh the page, it'll go away, but not until they do. It stays there and saves it. You can also change some of the settings for the step icons up here. Under step settings, we have the type. We can change it to none, meaning there's no steps or you, there are steps, but you can't see visually what step you're on. Not a good look. You can have just the text, which is just the label I added. You can have an icon and the icon can be changed. If we go back up to the form fields, go to step, we can add an icon right here. So right now it's a star. We can make this the a down arrow and now it's a down arrow. Each step can have its own icon. They don't have to be the same. And you notice the color is highlighted. This one's green because we're on step one. Go to step two, step two is green and step one is green because we've completed those. Those colors can be changed in the style tab. We'll check that out in just a minute. Back to step settings. We can also choose just a number for the steps. Progress bar, number and text, icon and text. I prefer the number and text, although it's kind of redundant too in step two. Depends on what your labels are. Or you could have a nice icon, say a little badge with information on it for personal information, maybe a house for address information, maybe a dollar sign for payment information. I'm not sure, lots of ways you can do it. 
For the shape, we can have circle, square, rounded, or none. And this option is only available when it's applicable. For example, if we switch to just text for the type, we don't have the shape option because it doesn't make any sense there. So I'm gonna change this back to numbers and text and change it to circle because I like that look. Now, if we go to style, we can change the colors. Under style, we have all our regular form options for styling, but also a new steps option. If we click on there, we can change the typography, spacing, padding, everything you expect for Elementor settings. For the colors, we have inactive, active, and completed. Right now, inactive is just the third step that we see over here. Active would be the second step because that's the step we're on. And completed would be the first step because we are past that step in the form. So if I change the primary color for the inactive to say this purpley blue, makes this three, step three purpley blue. Give it a secondary color, which would be the background. Make that gray. It's not very visible, lighter gray. There we go. Under active, number two, we can change this to, let's make it red. It really stands out. Let's make it red. Nope. For some reason it keeps dragging away. There we go. Red, and for step one, which is completed, let's make this pink. And now we, it's doing it again. There we go. And now we have our different colors set up for our different steps, if we wanna do that. And so those are the options for the multi-step form. And that's really all there is to it. There are some things that I think are missing that I have seen in other add-ons like the dynamic content for Elementor add-on. I have done a tutorial for its multi-step abilities for forms in Elementor, linked to in the card above and the description down below. One of the great features it has that this doesn't is there's a setting inside of the content builder where you check it. There's a little settings option down below. You check it and then all the step fields are all visible on one page. So while you're building the form, you can create your steps you can create all the fields and have it all visible on one page, right here on one page, and you don't have to navigate between steps to do editing. So that makes your editing a whole lot faster. And that might be something Elementor adds. Hopefully they do, because it'd be very beneficial to have that. But if they don't, and you really like that feature, and you want other features that Elementor has not added for the multi-step forms, check out that tutorial I just mentioned. Dynamic content for Elementor it is a premium plugin, but it is powerful, has a lot of great stuff. So this Elementor multi-step form that we just saw, will probably change a little bit before it comes into production, but not that much. And it's coming down the pipe. It'll be released very soon, I predict. Then you have multi-step form functionality on your Elementor websites, which was the number one requested feature. And one thing I forgot to mention, we can change the text for previous and next. If we click on step one to open it, we can change the previous and next button. There's no previous button here, obviously, but there's a next button. We change that to go, it now says go go next makes more sense maybe doesn't make much sense anyway you can change the text if we click on it go to step two and we see it's next and previous again so for each step we could have different text we could have just next and back for step two let's go to step two again we see next and back click on next for step three we have to fill something in here and for step three we have maybe previous there's no next button here. So we can see that we have different text for each step for the previous and next buttons if we want to. And as you saw with the jumping around as I change things, it jumps back to step one and back and forth. That's gonna be painful. It would be much better to have the feature where you can edit them all in the same page like I mentioned with the other plugin. And if you like multi-step forms, you wanna know what else you can do with them, check out this tutorial right here for the dynamic content for Elementor plugin. They execute a multi-step forms better than Elementor does at this point. And Elementor is just creating this feature, so they might be expanding on it as we go, but dynamic content for Elementor has had this feature for a long time, and it has a lot of bells and whistles. Check out what those bells and whistles are in this tutorial. And then make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.